Welcome back, Scorpio. This is your quick reading. Disregard the Sarah Jake Roberts in the background, okay? Now listen to my Sarah Jakes, okay? Motivational speaking. But thank you so much for your subscribes, your love, your support. I greatly appreciate it. Okay, so this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, okay? We're going to see what's happening, what message you need to hear, how can it help you, okay? If it is resonating, please like, subscribe, share it to your family and friends. And if it doesn't, let it fly like a butterfly. Drop it like a bad habit. Please follow all my other social media sites down in the description. I greatly appreciate it, okay? So, Scorpio, we're going to see your overall. Also, I was getting before I started this reading. I was supposed to do you guys this reading a couple hours ago, but I've just been so exhausted, y'all. Like, so, you know, you got to get your rest. So, maybe you've been feeling exhausted, okay? Or been sleeping a lot, but you are a God-fearing woman. Or you are, if you're a male, okay? If you're a male, you see a woman as a God-fearing woman or a very powerful woman. Or if you are a woman, you are a God-fearing woman woman or you are a very powerful being you're either realizing that you need to realize that or you soon will realize that okay is it something about you Scorpio okay that's how someone feels or this is how you feel about a particular somebody if you are a Scorpio male okay so in your rising there's a north node if you do not know your placements it's also in my description okay Scorpio, what can we see? Sports. All right, two of water, relationship that continues to grow closer, forgiveness, the positive resolution of a conflict, okay? So the cool of two of cups is falling in love, okay? Being in love with someone, okay? Coming back to someone, having forgiveness in a relationship. This could be a love relationship. This could be a friendship, okay? This is very a kindred spirit, okay? Something is restarting or something starting new or you realizing that you have feelings for someone. Someone's coming to you, telling you this. Okay, this is a very emotional card, okay? But it's a good card. So let's see what the two of water means. Okay, the two of water. Two people are sharing a close relationship right now. A fond friendship continues to deepen. A love affair is moving to new levels of intimacy. Mutual love, respect, and understanding has developed between the parties. Your relationship is healing. A continued commitment is still possible. Now is not the time to leave relationship. Difficulties between people or groups come to a positive resolution. Conflicts in and forgiveness is extended. Okay? So this also could be meaning that you're sexually attracted to someone or there's a spark getting back into your relationship. So like this said, this is not the time to break up with your partner. This is the time to have patience. If there's been a problem, if there's been a breakup, a separation, you guys had an argument, something will come back around, something will come back together, forgiveness will be shared, or something is on the up and up now that has been in the past, the past is the past, or the arguments, the discontentment, the dissatisfaction is over, okay? So this is how you're feeling towards the relationship, but this is how your partner uh, feels, okay? Um, they, they just want to get back together. They want you guys to stop arguing, stop fighting. Or if you're single, there's a person coming into your life that you are sexually attracted to. Okay, this could be a past person coming back into your life and something is coming together, okay? We have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Okay, so that could have been the problem, okay? Someone was codependent on you. You feel like you were doing everything on your own, okay? Or you feel like maybe this person was indulging too much, hanging out too much, not spending quality time, spending too much money, being frugal with their money, okay? being uh very egotistical okay not um looking or sharing or hearing you out or vice versa okay but that's coming all to an end okay
So I definitely see a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a Leo, may possibly even a Capricorn to be very significant as well. Let me just move this over, y'all. Alright, okay. So Scorpio, what can you see about this relationship? What was this codependency um, situation, or what was? happening in your relationship in your life okay what is going on sport? Ooh, the empress okay could be done with the libra or taurus okay but love okay showing that they love you okay showing that you are the one for them you are their counterpart you're their life partner okay you wanted them to be more nurturing you wanted them to have your back i'm getting you wanted them to appreciate you treat you like a queen or if you're a man treat you like a king okay you wanted that from this person or you were expressing that to them they are finally realizing that they're coming back on apology possibly even gifts as well okay this person is coming back to you or this person is realizing who you are to them scorpio okay you are the empress in their life, okay? You are their one. You are the apple, okay? In their, you're the apple to their pie. What what was it saying? I think I was saying you're the apple to the pie or something like that. Ooh, will of fortune, okay? So this is justice. This is justice for you, Scorpio, okay? Justice is coming back around because maybe in the past, you were helping them. You were nurturing them. You were giving them your energy. You were helping them, loving them, nurturing them, and they weren't doing the same for you. So you had to walk away or there was a separation, okay? I'm here. I just can't do this anymore. You don't understand me. You're not understanding where I'm coming from. Why are you doing this? Okay, an Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus could have played a part in the situation as well. But it definitely looks like, Scorpio, you are getting justice for something that has happened in the past dealing with a certain intimate relationship, okay? Or if this is you've been praying or wanting someone to get over a certain addiction, this could be a drug addiction, alcohol addiction, money addiction, addiction, um, addition. Okay, I'm also getting an addition. Maybe you wanted to, I'm getting, maybe you want to add an addition to your home as well. You guys were sh talking about sharing a home, getting a home, or something regarding a home. Okay, moving in together. Okay, going over finances. Okay, maybe this person was being like an asshole or just being very difficult uh, to deal with, to be with, okay, to talk to. They feel really bad about that, Scorpio. And they're coming back to talk to you or something dealing with the home or your community something like that okay but look you have the rule of fortune here which is karma as i say is as so below is as above or as above is so below so whatever they were dishing out to you they're getting it back okay and they're realizing that their karma that they're getting whatever that's happening to them it is because of how they treated you scorpio or reverse the roles okay this is how you're feeling towards this empress energy okay also, if you, um, also, I guess some of you guys have been trying to manifest love, trying to manifest that perfect partner, okay, that other half. Karma is being gifted to you, good karma, okay, because you have been the empress. You've been working on yourself, okay, minding your business, drinking your water, okay, um, creating your business, growing the job, you know, being, being an upright standing citizen or being the perfect divine feminine or divine masculine, switch the roles, okay, and that's, that, by you doing that, by you being the empress, by you being the, op your open self, okay, by you letting love in or wanting love to come in, a good partner, okay, by you releasing your addictions, by you realizing that you have to work on yourself, something is coming in for you. Could be a new Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, possibly even a Libra, okay? Okay, this is good. I think your last reading, like, you had a secret or something. Or someone had a secret or someone was on the low. Okay, so this is changing. Oh, this is perfect, Scorpio. And you have the Ten of Pentacles behind. And what is this card? The Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so all the work that you've done, all the manifest manifestations that you've done, it's over with, okay? You are going to see your 
your work, your effort. This is definitely a relationship. Whatever you put in, you're going to see it transpire, okay? So you have the five of wands reversed. So no more petty arguments, no more drama, okay? No more fights, okay? No more he say, she say stuff, okay? Something is coming to a close, okay? Blood has been shared. Tears have been shed, okay? Separation has already uh, came arise, okay? So something good is coming in for you, Scorps, okay? Most kidding, you were very hurt about this situation, okay? You were very hurt about how this person treated you, what you had to do. Maybe you actually even cried, okay? Maybe you had to be like, how am I the empress and I'm alone, possibly? Or how am I this much to you, but you're making me do this or you're doing this to me, okay? Or this is how this person feels, okay? But all, it, it seems like it's coming all to a close, okay? But if you've been struggling, okay, doing these things by yourself, okay, there will be a new relationship. If this is not a love relationship, if you're not ready for a relationship, some of you guys possibly aren't ready for a love relationship because you do have to work on yourself. You're not quite there to being the empress because there's some addictions or still attachments that you're being, that you're holding on to, something from the past or past relationship that you can't seem to let go of, okay? And in order for you to receive this blessing receive a life partner you have to change something about yourself you have to look at yourself like you're the empress you have to stop worrying stressing about what you can't change okay some of you guys uh wake up late at night at odd hours of the uh nights or mornings and really just stress about a person a situation or something that has happened in the past that you can't go back in the past and change it you have to realize what you can do at this time and how you can move on from it okay so the nine of swords this is actually it start off reverse so you are soon getting out of that possibly like i said you've been sleeping a lot you need more rest okay you need more rest. Maybe you just been feeling tired. Okay, overexerted. Okay, or maybe there was just a lot of stuff going on in your life. Okay, or this is maybe there's a lot of stuff going on in this person's life. They were very busy. They couldn't talk to you, communicate effectively. We have the two of wands. There will be communication coming in. Someone will be wanting to make plans with you, take a trip, or there will be a new business offer as well. Possibly coming from a fire sign, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or you could have that in your chart. Gold earrings, yellow earrings, gold shoes. Uh, could be very significant. The color gold. In the star reverse, look, there's a new business collaboration that someone wants to come. Um, come, what is it? Uh, speak to you about okay they want to see how you feel about this decision this move this make okay or it could be saying that your partner is at a distance okay maybe this is a long distance relationship you really want to see this person you haven't seen them in a long time it's been a long time since you guys came together since you guys have been intimate okay maybe your partner's on a business trip maybe you're on a business trip or maybe you guys are just doing your own things and you guys keep missing each other okay and you have the star reverse so yeah this person does not want you to be single this person sees you outside being happy being the empress being loved being catered to and they're like no that's my woman or no that's my man okay so now they're realizing your worth or this is you Scorpio you need to realize your worth you could do it all alone I'm feeling but you don't want to do it all alone okay you're done with the arguments. You're done with the fights. You're done with portraying that you don't want this person. You don't love this person or you don't need this person. This is how this person feels about you. Okay, you could have a family business or a business within your partner. Are you talking about that? Or you and your partner are, you guys both separately have very good jobs or or very substantial um, incomes. You guys are coming together, maybe buying a house, buying, like I said, an addition to something. Maybe you're a adding something more to your business or that could increase sales for you or maybe doing mobily okay traveling okay maybe take your business on the road maybe that's what you're thinking this is very off the wall but i'm also getting like scorpio you haven't even like waxed or something or you you're waiting for that right person or you're waiting for your man or i'm hearing like once your man call you you know you're gonna go to go get a wax or shave or get all dolled up getting your body right for this person or if you're single you're manifesting your life partner you're manifesting 
that right person, okay? You're not even having sex with anybody else. You're not even dealing with nobody else really on that serious note, okay? Until you find that person that meets you. You're like, I'm not dealing with none of y'all dudes. I'm not even talking to none of y'all females. I know what I want, and I'm not going to settle for less. And that's on serious course. Okay, and then I don't think it's the Ten of Pentacles. It definitely looks like your money looks good, okay? Looks like maybe you have just finished a project, finished a job, okay, finished um, some type of creative endeavor, and maybe you want to start something new or back again, have a new addition to something, okay? So we're going to see your mystery cards and the zodiac signs that are significant to you. I'm also getting someone lives where it's cold or where it's starting to get a uh, like ice or something like that or like there's like i don't know the mountains have ice on them or something like that. i don't know how i read this name like denver or i don't even know if new york has mountains maybe new york whoever states that um is mostly cold okay the mostly snows or have very troublesome weather maybe that could have been due to the distance as well weather could be affecting this relationship or maybe weather could be affecting a business trip be sure to check the weather okay before you take this trip or before you go somewhere okay so let's see your mystery card scorpio what is going on this could be significant to you or your person okay someone got a little peeny weeny earthworm okay i mean but you still love them though okay or maybe that could be significant take that resonates okay no judgment over here look phones calls facetime so yeah you're definitely dealing with someone from a distance it's a long distance relationship maybe you're talking to this person okay or um you're at a distance from you someone is an author slash writer okay Someone could possibly be writing a book. Okay, I'm also getting a children's book. Someone is an illustrator, an expiring one. Someone could be a book reporter, a critic. Okay. And you could be doing like a lot of paperwork around this time. Very busy in your work life though, Scorpio. It looks very good. I keep manifesting that. Heed warning ahead. Yeah, check something before you do something. Check the weather. Check yourself, Scorpio. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Okay, scheme and plotting. Okay, so I'm gonna go with this card, put it with this. So whoever this author writer is, okay, be sure to uh, watch this person. Something's going on with this, maybe even paperwork, because someone is scheming and plotting. Okay, so that is a warning for you. Okay, maybe your angels and your guides been trying to give you a warning about a particular person that you're not heeding to. Okay, and faithful. Look, someone is coming back because they love you and they want to be faithful to you or they have been faithful to you. Okay, 555, you're also significant. If you've been wondering that, yes, Scorpio, they are faithful. Yes, they are coming back. Yes, they love you. Yes, they understand. Yes, they want to work this out with you. Okay. Or if you're single, you know, you've been very faithful in your past relationships and you're wondering why am i the only one that always gets hurt why am i the one alone why do i have to go through this okay pray ask your guys ask your angels there's something that you're not learning or maybe it's it's not you scorp it's your partners that you're being attracted to okay you're attracted to codependency toxic people okay you need to change that about yourself need to manifest the partner that you actually need and not just want scorps okay so a capricorn a gemini a sagittarius or a pisces can be very significant a leo is very significant and one more and an aquarius all right so that is your reading for you lovey dovey's Please like, subscribe, share to your family and friends, support my following channels, and I catch you on the flip side. Have a good day.